Hey, this is Tyler from Podcast Now, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Chromecast with PlayStation View. Um, there's basically no instructions on how to do this anywhere on the internet or from Sony or anybody, so I figured, why not be me? Um, so I'm going to show you how to set it up right now, then I'm going to show you what it looks like on your phone and how, how it all works. So stay tuned and enjoy. Okay, so you're going to need a Chromecast, which is this. And then you could get one of these cords that, uh, on Amazon to make it a lot easier on you so that you don't have a big dangling cord um, that would have to plug in down here. That's just the cord to the, to the TV, okay? So you just plug one end there at the end of the uh, Chromecast. And the other end is a USB, which... So the Chromecast comes with the HDMI attached, right? So just to show you the back of most TVs, HDMI, and then there's always a USB uh, spot, okay? So you just plug in the HDMI. You can see. Plug that in, and then you just plug the USB part, and then it's like that, okay? I know you couldn't see, but you get the gist, okay? So then you just... And you don't see anything. Most people don't have the cord uh, falling. We just didn't do that for this TV. Okay. So when I am saying, so this is how it loads. Okay. Chromecast. So when I'm doing the video, anytime that I say uh, Chromecast wallpaper, this is what I'm talking about. Um, so this is automatically what happens when Chromecast loads. Uh, I'll show you how to set up Chromecast um, next, but I just want you to see like what you're going to be looking at, what your TV is going to be. Uh, so that's that. I don't know why. There we go. So, and then again, you're going to see that you name it. Oop, I don't know where it went. But it said Chromecast, there it is, condo bedroom. That's what this room was named. And it's on Asus, which is our Wi-Fi. And then I'll go over that stuff. So that's what you're going to see. But then when you're on your phone, and again, I'm going to show you all this through my phone. Hey, guys. So welcome to my phone. And now I'm going to show you how it's going to look when you use Chromecast on your phone because your phone acts as your TV's remote when you're using Chromecast. Okay. Nobody else has done a video like this because we're the best. Um, so what you're going to need as you already kind of saw. So you're going to have to download Google Home on your phone or tablet. iPhone, doesn't matter. Need Google Home. Download that. Have your Chromecast plugged into your TV like I showed you. Set that up. It scans. i can show you really quick if you haven't done it. So it looks, it looks for a device, finds a device. You sign in on your Google account. You're done. Okay? Once that's set up, you're finished. Once you do that, then you're going to need to get PS View. Okay, and then you just download that and then you sign in uh, under your account that you should already have because again, you cannot use Chromecast without having a primary device and the primary device that we recommend here. And if, if you don't have these, either one of these, then I would not use it. Well, there's three possible. So PS4 would be number one. If you don't have a PS4, that's fine. Then get an Amazon TV which I can show you it while I'm talking, get an Amazon TV, okay? Because that's the second best um, way to use Amazon or uh, PlayStation View. Sorry. The other one that supposedly is decent is um, the Apple TV, but everybody says that PS4 is the best. Amazon Fire TV is the second best. Or, or, or like if you're not using a PlayStation, the best. Um, do not get a fire stick, okay? So as you see here, $90 sounds like a lot. It's worth it instead of spending hundreds of dollars on cable or dish or direct TV. And we have a video on that. Okay, so get one of these. Um, if, if you're not going to use a PlayStation. But anyway, so you have Google, Google Home, you have PlayStation View. It's going to be in your apps, right? Or make a shortcut like I did. So you're going to open it up gonna load takes about a minute to load okay and then what you're gonna do 
and because you already set up your profiles. Now I already logged in five times. When you when you log in five, sorry, when you log in five times, it does auto logins. But you can have multiple profiles. Denise is my mother. Tony's my dad. Um, they obviously they watch different shows than I do. My father and I watch similar shows, but when he's in his room, he uses his profile. I use mine. Tyler Swimman W five hundred is actually my full name. The nurse made a mistake on the birth certificate. Um, so that's not true. It's sarcasm. Um, so what you see here, this is the long view because this is how most people hold their phones. Um, the first, you have recommendations. Okay, you have my shows, favorite channels, live TV. Now, quickly, my shows is what you uh, have recorded. Okay. And it's in order from newest to oldest. Favorite channels is channels that you watch most often. Um, and then at the bottom, it says what's on. And then live TV is obviously live TV. Now you go to the guide by hitting the menu button, select guide. And then, and then the shows that you, or the channels that you favorite are what show up first. And then after all that, then it's all the other. So instead of scrolling through and finding the channels you like, you favorite your favorite, obviously. And then it shows you what's up. Now, it doesn't show you what's up, it shows you what's on. Uh, this is landscape. I believe it would be landscape view. Um, just so you can see, like, for the full screen. So it shows you what's on right now, okay? And then we can go home just so you can see the view for the long view. This is probably how it looks on tablets. If you have a tablet. So my shows. Now, this is outside home network. So you cannot watch a recorded show, you must be on the same Wi-Fi connection that your main, um, your primary device, which would either be a PS4, Amazon TV, or Apple TV. So for me, and I'll show you. So I'm connected to Asus, okay? But my PlayStation 4 is connected to a uh, Asus Extended. So you, you can still watch TV on different Wi-Fi, but if you want to access your recordings, you must be on the same Wi-Fi. So in other words, if you're at like a Starbucks or Tim Hortons or wherever you go, or uh, the library, and you're on their Wi-Fi, you can't watch your recordings, which kind of sucks, but I get it. Um, so if I switch, did I switch? Let's see if it connects. Is it going to connect? So it's connecting. And I'll show you. So as soon as it says connected, so now watch this. Okay. So now if I try again, it's going to load. So let's see now. See, now I can watch my recorded show because now I'm on the same Wi-Fi. I should have mentioned that earlier. I apologize. Um, so I can put that on. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's, let's just check out how a recording uh, looks so you open or you watch it you hit the play button and then you just t tap on the t on the screen your phone screen and then you'll see there's a Chromecast icon it's the square with the Wi-Fi symbol this is how it looks uh, if you hold it that way okay so you just tap that then you connect to your Chromecast whatever you named it I'm in the master bedroom because I am the king of the house I'm the king everywhere I go, basically. That's that's also a lie. Um, I actually don't have that big of a... Eh, I do have a big eagle. So then you just cast it, and then you're going to see your TV changes from the pretty pictures. Then it's going to show you the image that it's showing you on your TV screen. It's loading. It takes about a minute. Maybe a minute and a half. Maybe even two minutes. And there we go. Okay, so... Now it's casted onto the screen. So now I'm watching TV just like normal. So now my phone acts as my remote. I can hit close. I can say, hmm, okay, well, my recorded show is about to be done, or I'm just bored. I'm not bored with Dragon Ball Z, even though I already saw this episode like when I was seven years old. Um, so watching TV, you could still, and if you want to say, say it's a, say you're watching live TV, which we'll do that right now. Uh, let's see what looks good. What looks Jurassic Park three? No thanks. So you hit live TV. 
And this is, again, this is exactly how you guys would use it. Oh, The Hobbit. Perfect. Alex's favorite. Along with Nick's. Uh, so now I selected that, hit the play button. So now it is cast onto my screen. It's loading for either a minute, minute and a half, two minutes. I don't know. Okay, so like we showed, we chose The Hobbit. So this is how it's going to look on your phone. But then, like I show, you just hit the Chromecast button and cast it. And this is what it's going to do to your TV. Like I said, it takes about a minute, minute and a half. Right? So it just pauses it on your phone. And then it's loading on the TV. Yep. See? So that's what it does. And then you could still, on your phone, you could do whatever. Um, you could even close it like a show, go on YouTube, podcast now, right? You could do anything. You could just turn it off. And it's still there. Okay? So it doesn't affect your tablet use or your smartphone use whatsoever. Uh, and, then, and then you'll see up here, there's a, like a TV looking type thing with a plus button. Oh, I just went into info. Okay. So if I hit that, now it's added to my shows. In other words, now it's recording. And if you hit it again, oops, if you hit it again, it's no longer being recorded. Uh, and then it gives you recommendations. Okay. So if we hit Lord of the Rings Return of the King, my favorite. Uh, it says when it's going to be on. And it's going to be on Saturday at 11.45. I might record that, but I won't. So now, okay, we don't care about that. Now, okay, so we're on live TV, right? Watching TV. Then maybe it's going to hit a commercial, okay? So then it's like, oh, no. Um, I'm not going to say that part. So what you don't have to be worried about is just because your phone acts as the remote doesn't mean you can't use your phone. You can still, you could actually close the app if you wanted to, and it's still running on your TV, and you could still use your phone like normal. Search the web, okay? Uh, you could do whatever. Text your friends, doesn't matter. Uh, you could use YouTube. I'll show you YouTube. Just to show you that you can still use your phone, and it really doesn't drain your battery at all, which I'm, I'm surprised and very happy about. That was when I found out that the Chromecast app, uh, or the, the PlayStation View app, acted as a remote. I'm like, oh God, it's going to drain your battery, and you probably won't even be able to use it. And I was wrong, and I'm glad I was wrong. Uh, and there, look at that, PlayStation View Direct TV comparison. Let's let's check out our other our other video that we have here, which... Some of you might have already seen. Uh, some of you might have already come to that. Um, I don't know. Uh, or came from that video. So there's our other video that talks about PlayStation View compared to DirecTV. Which, if you're currently having DirecTV or using DirecTV or cable, you know, Time Warner, Cox, uh, Comcast, but the bill is too high... Um, I totally, we switched, clearly. Um, we were paying $140 a month, $141 actually. PlayStation View, we, we could have did the $35 package actually, but my father watches a certain channel, uh, cause he likes to watch car shows. So for him, so we're paying $45 instead, but for him, he, cause he watches them a lot, it was worth the extra $10 a month. But, you know, $45 a month compared to $140 for the exact same service. The only difference is the recordings on PlayStation View, the recordings on PlayStation View, my show is what they call it. Um, thousand subscribers. You can only keep them for 28 days. Now, most people watch their shows um, anyways, like a couple days after. They don't really watch them months out. Uh, so that's really not that big of a deal. Um, so, you know, it really was kind of a no-brainer. Plus, the other thing, too, there's no contracts. Uh, and I could show you that. So now we close that. So obviously, like I said, we can go through our phone. We could even make a call. We're not going to, but we can. Um, 
So it doesn't obstruct from you using your phone whatsoever. So what I want to show you quickly is, so it's month to month. There's no contracts. So if you decide, say, say you're paying the, uh, like for us, we have, I think, the Slim Elite package, I believe, but I actually can't remember. Um, say you're paying the highest priced one with HBO and Showtime. Then you're like, eh, I actually don't watch, um, I actually don't watch Showtime all that much, um, or, or HBO all that much. So I don't want to pay an extra ten dollars a month. Mm -hmm. Then you don't. Then what? Or or say, you are going to go on vacation for a few weeks, or you're going to be away for a month for whatever. Somebody's sick or something, something like that. You know what I mean? Uh, so then it's like, well, why pay? for that month when you're not going to be home anyway. So you just don't pay that month. So because it's, I don't know if I could show you here, unfortunately, it would be on your main, yeah, it would be on the main device. So for me, it would be on, yep, it would be on the um, PlayStation, v, uh, or on my PlayStation 4. Uh, if you don't use a PlayStation 4, it would be on the Amazon TV, or you could actually go on to the PlayStation View website. Let's see if we could do it right on that. So you just, when the month comes, you just would unsubscribe, it's called. Um, so you would just unsubscribe and you would not pay for that month. And then when you're ready again, um, you just would pay for the following month. Or if you want to change your plan, you just change your plan. Oh, I can't hear because I have the app. Um, and... You just change your plan and you would just pay less or you would pay more if you maybe if you wanted those channels you would just pay more so it's very easy to switch much easier to switch than um if you had you know a contract with direct tv um now again like for us now we were on a contract but we ended early here here's all the so ultra slim 65 we're on the elite slim and if you didn't notice and if you don't know by now abc Fox and NBC are only on demand. They do not have live channels, so that means that they do not have, like PlayStation View has no local news. Now, I don't know about you, but local news is not worth a hundred extra dollars. Um, and because it's on demand, which I can show you on the app, um, obviously, so if you watch, what's it called? Designated Survivor. Oops. If you watch Designated Survivor, or whatever. Grim, or, or whatever, Blacklist. It's not live right so you'd you'd be a day or two i think it might be actually three days behind but again is that worth a hundred dollars saving a hundred dollars i think it is um and so see it's all on demand but you get the entire season for for all of them um so it's it's definitely worth it so you're not you're not really missing out on anything um I guess this one doesn't have all the um, episodes. That's weird. Because that's actually the first one I didn't see, or the first one that I saw that didn't have all the episodes. Um, but like I said, it's, it's definitely worth it. And because it's only 40, or for us, it's only $45 a month, uh, instead of paying 100 something dollars a month that, that keeps going up for cable, um, you can have PlayStation View. You can have Netflix, you can have Hulu, and you still will never be paying what you'd be paying for cable or what's considered uh, a cord uh, provider, which would be even DirecTV, Dish, uh, Cable. Um, so again, this was how you use PlayStation View on Chromecast. And then when you're done, you just hit that and you hit disconnect. It dis uh, your TV should go black. You closed the app. It didn't. Oh, okay. So then, and then in your notification bar, um, this will be there. So you just hit the X button. And then your TV goes black. Then it's on the Chromecast. And then, like Chromecast wallpaper, and then you just turn off your TV and you're done. And so are we. So that is how it would look on your phone um, to use PlayStation View. Um... So, very easy setup. Again, follow how I showed you in the beginning. If you have any questions at all, 
please leave a comment. We will get back to you. That's what we do on Podcast Now. Uh, we reply to every single comment. That's what we try to do. Um, and we like doing it. So, again, if if you're thinking about switching to PlayStation View, I would. Because just be, it's just not worth paying, you know, hundreds of dollars for zero zero reason when you could get the same thing for far less hundreds of dollars less uh or a hundred well in most cases or some cases i should say a hundred hundreds um some people pay a lot so i would make the switch don't buy the nintendo switch at least not yet um but why pay more for the same service doesn't make sense um but again just i would just do it and if you don't let and again like i said earlier there's no contracts. So if you don't like PlayStation View, then you don't keep PlayStation View. Hulu, Apple, Amazon, another one I can't think of, they're all coming out with live TV. Um, so if you don't, say you switch to PlayStation View, not a fan, then you just try the other ones. They're all going to be priced about the same. And then you stick to, eh, then you just stick to what one that you like. And then that's it. No contracts. Um, so I real I say give it a chance or, or give it a shot. Um, and don't be afraid because you're not going to get burned. You, you just won't. Um, unless you have extremely terrible Wi-Fi, then don't. <laughs> um, that's the only way I would say don't do it. Um, but I would do it. Uh, take the chance. People need to learn to take chances. Um, because sometimes like we did with this and sometimes they really work out a lot. Um, so again, this was podcast. Now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. If you like the video, make sure you leave a comment, uh, for any questions or just whatever. If you just want to say hi, that's fine. Um, and thank you again for watching and check out the other video too, uh, where we compute, uh, compare PlayStation view to direct TV. Okay. Thanks for watching. Six.